In this video, I will be talking about the Three Kingdoms period of China, focusing on the many talented heroes of that time. Wen Ping was a talented military general who had a successful career where he would come to passionately defend Jing province numerous times, first for Liu Biao, then Tao Tao, then his son Tao Pi. It's unknown when he was born, but it's first recorded that he served under Liu Biao, where he was put in charge of defending the northern border of Jing. He must have built up rapport within the community around him in his time serving Liu Biao, or perhaps he simply honoured his duty deeply, as when Tao Tao invaded in 208, Liu Biao's son, Liu Kong, surrendered Jing province over to him, but it took a while for Wen Pin to come to terms with this fact and turn himself over. When he eventually did surrender, Tao Tao asked him why he was so reluctant to do so. Wen Ping stated that he considered putting up resistance, as he saw it as his duty to defend Jing province from invasion. Tao Tao was impressed with his straightforward answer, and promptly put him in charge of a unit of soldiers where he thought he would perform best in Jing province. At this time, Liu Bei's army was stationed at Xin Yi, and had repelled a few minor attacks led by Zhi Hadun up until Liu Kong's surrender. This meant Liu Bei now found himself trapped. He fled south knowing Liu Kong would be too shamed to try and stop him. Many common folk and even officials were drawn to Liu Bei and followed him as he marched through Jing. His march was slow as over a hundred thousand unarmed people were with him and over a thousand carts of luggage. So Tao Tao's pursuing force soon caught up with Liu Bei at Changban in November or December in the year 208. Wen Ping participated alongside the pursuing forces, where they quickly forced Liu Bei to flee for his life, whereafter the Wei army seized Liu Bei's caravan and many people. A few months later, Tao Tao was defeated at the Battle of Red Cliffs and forced to retreat north. He allowed Wen Ping to remain in Jing province with his soldiers as an administrator of Zhang Xia Commandery, which was again near the border, but this time he was tasked with defending Tao Tao's land from Sun Chuan of Wu. It was around this time that the Emperor enfiefed Wen Ping as a secondary Marquis, which essentially meant he was given lands in exchange for a pledge of service. The allied forces of Liu Bei and Sun Chuan, numbering 40,000 strong, pressed their attack as they pursued Tao Tao back north, but were soon stopped by Tao Ren at Nan Commandery, who would soon be receiving reinforcements from all directions. Once they were all in position, Tao Ren's total number of commander troops would exceed 100,000. The Allied forces set up blockades in an attempt to drive Tao Ren out, whilst Guan Yu launched an attack on Xiang Yang, but he was defeated by Yu e Jin. Guan Yu then also attempted to cut off Tao Ren's connection to the rest of his armies, but was engaged by Yu e Jin again, this time accompanied by Wen Ping. The pair of them successfully drove the God of War back. Wen Ping then followed the retreating Guan Yu back to Han Ford, where he assaulted Guan's food storage, which forced the Shu forces to retreat even further. Wen Ping's chase did not let up, which forced Guan Yu into taking a naval battle with zero chance of victory, where Wen Ping burned down almost all of his warships. This engagement was arguably Wen Ping's greatest achievement, whereafter he was promoted to a village Marquis by the Han central government. Despite his victory here, Tao Tao's forces were overstretched, and the Red Cliffs campaign had turned into a war of attrition which he could no longer afford. Wen Ping was then tasked with defending Jiangxia commandery from attacks by Wu's veteran general, Cheng Pu. About a decade later, in 220, relations between Sun Chuan and Liu Bei had worsened greatly as they fought over Jing province. Tao Pi had inherited his father's state, whilst also declaring himself the emperor. He promoted Wen Ping to a district Marquis and organised an attack from three directions into Sun Chuan's kingdom of Wu. Zhang He, Tao Zhen, and Wen Ping were sent to assault Jiang Ling, but the strong defence from the Wu officers prevented them from achieving any real success. Wu reinforcements arrived which made things even more difficult for Tao Pi, while Sun Chuan also led a detachment of warships up a nearby river, leading into a choke point that was being guarded by Wen Ping. Even though Wen Ping earned deeds by successfully defending this choke point, the invasion had been a failure, and so Tao Pi called for a retreat. Recognised by Tao Pi, 
Wenping was hereafter promoted to a county Marquis for his contributions in the battle. He also later led his unit to join up with Tao Pi's main army, who were heading towards a Wu fortress that was being guarded by Xu Cheng. The Wei army fell for the Wu empty castle ploy, where Xu Cheng used the castle to his advantage by placing dummy soldiers made out of hay along the castle walls. This created the illusion of a much larger army, and taking into consideration the Wu army would also have the geographical advantage, Tao Pi decided to turn back and retreat. On their way back, they were engaged by the Wu general Sun Xiao, who used their retreat to his advantage and captured many of Tao Pi's supplies in the fray. Wen Ping would take note of the empty fort strategy used by his enemy, as the last recorded battle Wen Ping was involved in made use of the same trick. It's unknown exactly where and when this battle took place, but it may have been part of Tao Pi's three-pronged attack against Wu. Sun Quan personally led a massive army to engage Wen Pin's much smaller force, who were defending a weathered fortress with damaged fortifications. Wen Ping struggled to organise the civilians of the city, who were away farming so no repairs could be carried out in time. Stuck about what to do in this situation, he ordered all of his men to simply hide out of sight to make it seem like the castle was empty. Sun Chuan became suspicious, as he was aware of Wen Ping's loyalty to the region, but could not pinpoint his location. This led him to believe Wen Ping was either laying a trap, or had already received reinforcements who were laying in ambush, and so after around 20 days, he decided to withdraw his army entirely. Wen Ping then launched a counter-attack as they made their way back home where he defeated Pan Zhang, but was then repelled by Zhu Ran, who had arrived to rescue his comrade. The exact death date of Wen Ping is unknown, but after his death he was awarded with the posthumous title Marquis Zhuang by the Wei government.